I'm super excited to do this teaching video because it's on one of my favorite topics um, and it's peptides. So you guys are familiar with peptides because it's part of our weight loss program. So semiglutide and terzepatide and now we have retitrutide. It's not even on the market yet, um, but it has been phenomenal in terms of helping people lose weight. Well, peptides have been around for a very long time, since the 1920s. And one of the first peptides is actually insulin. So we know that peptides are incredible for a variety of different illnesses. It's just that the FDA has put a lot of restrictions on compounding pharmacies being able to make it. So we get it from a 503B pharmacy which can make it in big batches uh, and they have to be very compliant and have to submit um, uh, all of their uh, peptides for testing and purity and sterility and uh, quantity and quality. So we know that we're getting it from a reputable source. And I think a lot of the controversy that comes with peptides oftentimes is because people are importing it from other countries and, you know, there is no regulation for those. So whenever a doctor is um, giving you peptides, you want to make sure that you're getting it from a reputable source and preferably a place like the United States. Um, and so I wanted to share with you guys a couple of my favorite and some that we have here in the office um, for you. I don't advertise it on our website, and you're probably only going to hear from it if you come <laughs> and do a consultation visit with me. Um, part of it is is that I want to stay under the radar, which I guess I'm not now because I'm obviously telling you guys on Instagram, but how else are you going to know about it? Um, I just want to make sure that you guys are totally educated on it so that you make an informed decision if this is something that you want to do. So there is a, pept a peptide called AOD. 9604. And you're going to notice that a lot of these have all these code names and you're like, how do you remember it? I don't, which is why I'm referring to my paper. <laughs> but that one is amazing for reducing body fat and it's also great to increase your metabolism. So it's a great peptide in addition to your semiglutide and terzepatide, especially if you've plateaued. Um, so you can ask us about that if you're interested or, um, or want to try it. Um, there's another peptide called PT141 and I call that the love peptide. <laughs> it uh, induces rapid onset of sexual arousal. Uh, it heightens your libido. Um, it helps men with, you know, that have erectile dysfunction. And uh, it improves symptoms of sexual dysfunction. So it's a great peptide that you can use one to two hours before intercourse. So if you're having issues like with libido or men having issues with being able to sustain an erection, this is a wonderful peptide to try. Um, the next peptide is called tessamorelin. Now, this is a uh, growth hormone releasing peptide. So we make growth hormone when we're little kids. And that is what kind of helps us, you know, accelerate the growth process. But unfortunately, as we get older, our, our, our production of growth hormone diminishes. And so, um, and we feel it, you know, we don't recover quite as quickly as we do when we're little kids. And so tessamorelin is one of those that stimulates your brain to release your natural growth hormone. Um, and it is amazing for reducing your triglycerides. Um, it helps improve your co cognitive function and people over the age of 60. It increases um, your muscle mass and it helps with bone density. And that one is taken two months on and two months off. Uh, so this isn't something that you have to do all the time. And in fact, we do recommend a recovery period so that we don't suppress your own natural production of growth hormone. Epimorelin is in the same boat. It's just not as expensive as tessamorelin, but it pretty much does uh, the same thing. It, it, it also helps uh, to improve uh, sleep. It helps improve your skin's elasticity. So all these wrinkles <laughs> and all that crepey skin, epimorelin is phenomenal for that. Um, and it um, helps strengthen your immune system and it also helps with your memory. Um, another one of my favorite is a combination of epimorlin and CJC1295. Um, these two together, they're, we call them stacking, um, but it also helps tremendously to, like, especially for people who are into weightlifting and want to build muscle mass and get the six pack. This is incredible for that. It also works really well if you are on the semiglutide and terzepatide and you can't seem to lose the weight. So this is a great addition to it. Um, and that one is also two months on, two months off. Um, my other favorite one is BPC-157 combined with TB-500 and MGF. They call it the Wolverine peptide. And that one is amazing to accelerate wound healing. So it's great if you're having surgery. It's used a lot in orthopedics. Um, 
to help accelerate uh, muscle and tendon repair. Um, and um, it also is used tremendously in patients with inflammatory bowel issues. So Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, um, um, uh, SIBO. So all of these bowel issues. I've, I've had some patients that have come in desperate because they have multiple bowel movements a day. Um, in fact, they can't go anywhere without making sure that they know where a toilet is. And imagine having to live that way. And this has repaired their bowel. I mean, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in shock in how well it worked. I'm like, well, let's try it, thinking it didn't work. And then they come back and they're like, I never want to get off of it. And I'm like, well, you need to cycle. And honestly, a lot of times it heals the bowel and you're done. You only need it for that short period of time. So if you guys know anybody that has a lot of bowel issues, this is a wonderful peptide to try. Um, then there's GHK copper, which is uh, my favorite. If you look at my skin, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm 50 years old. I'm an old lady. <laughs> and I pride myself in making sure that I take care of my hormones and I take care of my skin. I go to Yoli. I do all these peptides. And I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I mean, I don't look like a 20-year-old, but I don't think that I look my age. Or I hope not. Um, maybe the filter works really great for, for uh, uh, being in denial. But the GHK copper, I love. There's two ways to take it. You can do it as a serum. So I tell patients you can derma roll your skin with a three to five millimeter uh, five millimeter derma roller, and uh, then you put the GHK copper serum on top of that. The other way that you can take GHK copper is an injectable form, and of course, anything that's injectable is always uh, so much more effective. But um, that also the GHK copper also helps a lot with hair growth. Hence, you know, I think this is pretty good, and I don't have that many grays, so I I think we're doing okay here. Um, and then my other favorite is NAD. Oh my God. I can't say enough great things about NAD. Now, in the past, you used to have to do NAD through an IV, but now you can actually do it sub-Q, uh, which is nice because you don't have to come in for an IV, and it's ridiculously expensive when you try to do it through the IV. Um, NAD is great to improve your cognitive function. It helps reduce anxiety and depression. It helps improve your sleep quality. Um, it reduces inflammation. It helps boost your energy levels. It improves your skin health. It protects your brain from neurodegenerative disorders. It is a master antioxidant. So I love NAD. Um, you know, we make it a lot when we're a lot younger, but as we start to get older, unfortunately, we don't make enough of it, and it is fabulous. Um, the next peptide is thymosin beta-4. Thymosin beta-4 is uh, amazing to help regulate your immunity. Um, it helps with injury. It helps if you've had a cardiac injury, so people with, like, a, st a stroke or a myocardial infarction, a heart attack. TB500 is phenomenal for, for that. Um, it's also a really great anti-inflammatory. It helps with angiogenesis, um, uh, and um, it helps also with hair loss. It is my number one seller for hair loss. It's incredible. Um, and that one you do 20 days on, 20 days off. Uh, the next one is thymosin alpha-1. Now, thymosin alpha-1, my God, the list for thymosin alpha-1 is incredible. It is for your immunity. It helps regulate your immunity. Um, it's great for psoriatic arthritis. Um, it helps patients with long COVID um, it helps patients with rheumatoid arthritis, liver cancer, renal cell cancer, uh, non-small cell lung cancer, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, uh, mold toxicity, chronic fatigue, uh, Lyme disease, HIV, pseudomonas infections, people that have sepsis. Um, it helps with aging. It decreases the toxicity that's caused by a lot of chemotherapeutic agents. I love thymosin alpha-1, and it has a very great safety profile. So this stuff is freaking phenomenal. So um, the other amazing time to take thymosin alpha-1 is if you're traveling and you're concerned about being in big crowds or you're going to a big concert and you don't want to get sick, thymosin alpha-1 is your best friend. And the thing that I love about these peptides is you just take as needed. So it's not like you have to take thymosin alpha-1 for an eternity. Now, um, if you have, you know, uh, more issues, like obviously uh, a chronic uh, disease or like a cancer or something like that, then yes, you want to do it for like two or three months at a time while you're getting your um, therapy. Um, the next two peptides are also some of my favorites. Uh, C-Max is uh, wonderful. It's neuroprotective. Um, it helps with cognitive enhancement. It improves memory. It improves attention and learning. It helps people recover from strokes. Um, it uh, increases the neuroplasticity of your brain, um, and it um, helps increase uh, uh, BDNF um, 
brain derived neurotropic factor, which is incredible in terms of like protecting you from Alzheimer's and dementia. So if that runs in your family, C-Max is something you may want to consider uh, taking, you know, on occasion. Um, the next one is C-Lank, which I really love. It helps reduce anxiety. A lot of times we have patients that come in with like a ton of palpitations or pretty severe anxiety. This stuff is incredible for it. Um, it also, it helps regulate the dopamine and serotonin in your brain. It makes you more calm. It helps with memory. It helps with depression. It helps with overeating. Um, and it can possess a little bit of antiviral properties, which is incredible. And it can also help lower your cholesterol and your blood sugars. So that's a quick lesson. I know it was 13 minutes long. I'm going to try to decrease this to half of that. Um, but I hope it kind of gives you guys an idea of what peptides do. Why does the FDA have such a problem for this? Um, well, I'll tell you why. It is FDA is in the pocket of big pharma. FDA is meant to regulate these big companies, but they also get paid by these big companies. And it is not in the best interest of big pharma to keep you guys healthy. Because otherwise, who would pay for the high blood pressure medication or the diabetes medication? Why do you think it's so expensive for uh, you guys to um, take care or to take the weight loss medication? They don't want you to get healthy. So keep that in mind. I know I probably shouldn't be saying that. I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying that. But listen, my goal is to educate my patients and to let them know that there are alternative options out there that have been tested and proven. Okay, I'm not the stuff that made my peptide Bible. It's because I've done a lot of the research. I've looked at the research studies and this stuff is incredible. So let me know if you're interested.